Hey guys, new day, new update about the one euro and 20 cents smartwatch from AliExpress. First of all, this thing really has some potential, but at the same time not. So for example, the battery is just so small that you can never ever really wear it like a smartwatch unless you want to charge it every day then it's really not worth it even at one euro to just use it as a status display or something like that or some gadgets you connect via BLE or Zigbee to something it might be workable but let me share some updates so after tinkering around with it and yeah reverse engineering the pin out so far and yeah writing a custom firmware and yeah, also using the work from our Baron. Check him out. He makes some great stuff. Um, I am now finally able to share the ODA flashing method. Since it's a Telink SOC inside, it is directly compatible and the manufacturer of the smartwatch directly made it compatible to the yeah, stock Telink over the air update method. And this is also what we're gonna use now to update this one euro 20 smartwatch from completely stock this is really like new and out of the box let's get a usb cable to power it up if i can get this right with one hand yeah, let's do it in an unpleasant way so like that we have the smartwatch charging now and in theory it should already advertise BOE um, data this is really like out of the box yeah you can see it's now advertising and we can connect to it and after it has connected to the smartwatch, like so, this is not notifying about anything, I can select the update file I want to flash, like so, and it will directly start to flash it. If the connection stays on, so let's reconnect. It did just uh, yeah, cancel the connection. I guess it needed some more time. It says it's connected again, so let's just redo that. And yeah, as you can see, the update is now running and it is saying that an over the air update is going on. And let's just wait for the update to finish. And yeah, as you have seen in the last video, the connection is really just for power. So there is no way of having any data transferring over the USB connector and yeah, the upload is nearly finished and it should reboot anytime as you can see here. So you have a fully custom firmware running now and if I press this touch button in the lower part you can see it also writes it on the display. And just as a Word of caution, make sure that the PCB looks similar to this one or at best the same. So it's the version 5.3 because multiple versions of this smartwatch are available and some have a different pinout or some have like a real I2C acceleration sensor or a real heart rate sensor. So if you update anything on these over the air, you could brick the yeah, firmware, but it's always uh, possible to recover via the SWS pin and a USB to UART converter. So it's not like everything is lost. Just make sure to flash the right thing and yeah, have the correct firmware. It turns out this screen is not 240 by 240 pixel. It is 128 by 128 pixels in size. It's not as nicely looking, but on the other hand, it's also simpler to drive it with the 16 kilobytes of RAM we have. So 
Also, the screen will refresh faster with a lower resolution, of course. So it's also it's good and it's bad. And yeah, so now we have a reflashed smartwatch for one euro and twenty cent, and can develop our own firmware. So this is now hacked. Okay, that's all for today.